Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to unlock any iPhone on iOS 5.0.1 or the iOS 5.1 tethered jailbreak. Now, yes, this method does actually work on the iPhone 4S and it is the first software unlock to work on the iPhone 4S. And that's actually the unit that I will be using to demonstrate with in this video. However, just keep in mind that you will need to be jailbroken. So that means you'll have to be on iOS 5.0.1 if you have an iPhone 4S and you want to take advantage of this method. Because as of right now, that is the highest firmware that the iPhone 4S can be jailbroken on. You cannot jailbreak on 5.1 right now. However, if you're on something like an iPhone 4 with the tethered iOS 5.1 jailbreak, then this method will work on that as well. So I have my iPhone 4S right here, and you do know it's an iPhone 4S because if I focus right here, you will notice that the band breaks are different than on the iPhone 4, which is to the left right here. You have one at the top and one at the bottom on the iPhone 4S on both sides here. So there's another one on the top and another one on the bottom, and I do have Siri enabled. All right, so inside of settings, general, about, you will notice at the bottom that I am on iOS 5.0.1, and you do know that I am jailbroken on my iPhone 4S because I have Cydia right there. So once you are jailbroken on your iPhone, and if you aren't jailbroken right now, then just be sure to check out one of the jailbreak videos that's actually down below in the more info, or just go to the post that I have down below in the more info. It details all of the steps that you need to do to actually get your iPhone unlocked and once you are jailbroken just be sure to come back to this video and you can proceed with this tutorial. So again once you're jailbroken open up Cydia and wait for Cydia to load. Now once Cydia is loaded up go to the manage tab at the bottom then go to sources inside of sources go to edit and then add and once that box pops up just type in this source right here it's repo.bingner.com and again that will be on the post that i have listed down below in the more info and once you've typed that in just hit add And once it successfully added it, you can hit return to Cydia and then just go inside of the source and then go to SAM. And once you're inside of SAM, just hit install. And SAM stands for subscriber artificial module. And once it has completed, then you can hit respring. Now, if your device hangs here like it did with my iPhone 4, what you're going to have to do is hold down the home and power buttons together simultaneously to actually hard boot your iPhone. So again, that's what I had to do with my iPhone 4 when performing this, but that's not the case for my iPhone 4S here. Now, once your iPhone is back up, you're going to have to put in the SIM card that you intend to use. Now, unfortunately, I only have two AT&T SIM cards. One is my actual active SIM card and one is my old SIM card from the iPhone 4. And I also have a Verizon SIM card from my iPad. So what I'm going to do is simply use this Verizon SIM card to actually do part of the process and then switch it out with the AT&T SIM card so I can show you guys the rest of the process. So I'm simply going to put this SIM card inside of the tray here and insert the tray into the iPhone. All right, now it should say no SIM and then it should go to no service. That's fine. What we're going to have to do is actually go inside of the settings portion of SAM and you can do this by either finding the SAM Prefs app on your springboard that was placed there after installing SAM or you can go inside of the settings application and go to SAM. Once inside of SAM, then you're going to have to do a couple of different things and this part gets a little bit tricky. So if you can't follow along, just be sure to check out the written instructions on the post I have down below. Now the first step is to go inside of utilities and you should actually have deactivate iPhone right here. However, I do not have that. Mine just says attempt activation or restore activation. That's actually fine. What you need to make sure of though is that when you go back inside of more information inside of SAM that it actually says unactivated right here. So that's what we're really concerned about right now. Once you have confirmed that it says unactivated, you can click back and then for method, instead of auto detect, we need to change this to by country and carrier. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit back right now and we're going to select our country and 
I'm in the United States, so I'm gonna scroll down to the use here and select United States and then go to carrier. And in this case, I'm just going to select AT&T Singular Wireless. Even though I have my Verizon SIM card inserted right now, I'm going to swap that out in a second, but just make sure to find your carrier. There are a ton of different carriers here. And once you've selected your carrier and you have it checked, just go ahead and hit back. And this is actually where I'm going to pop my SIM card out and swap it for the AT&T SIM. Now keep in mind, you do not have to do this. That was just because I needed to show you guys that it should say deactivated there. And it actually doesn't say that with an AT&T SIM card inserted. So just keep your SIM card inserted. Basically just skip over this. Again, I'm just doing this so I can proceed with the tutorial. I'm going to proceed and we need to go into more information and I'm just going to scroll down here and we need to copy this IMSI number and simply open it up and we can select it and copy it. And then what you need to do is hit spoof real SIM to SAM. Once you hit that, you should get a notification saying that it's spoofed and you can check okay to that notification and then go back and then for the method right here, it should automatically change it to manual. If it doesn't change it to manual, then you need to select manual. Once it's set to manual, then you can scroll down and we need to put that number right here in the IMSI field. So just go ahead and paste that in there. And once that main number is pasted in there, you can press the home button and you will need to have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer. And now we need to go ahead and open up iTunes. All right, once iTunes is open, go ahead and plug in your iPhone to your computer via the USB cable. And then over here in the iPhone section, it should say activating your iPhone. And mine did finish. And at this point, what we need to do is close iTunes and then unplug your iPhone. And once it is unplugged, then you can go back inside of the SAM settings right here. And what we need to do is just check off this toggle right here for enabled. Just check it so that it's disabled. And and once it's disabled, then you can simply press the home button. And once you're done with that, open iTunes back up and plug in your iPhone to your computer via USB with iTunes open. And you should actually get an error saying that your phone cannot be activated. Now this is normal. Just go ahead and close iTunes again. And once it's closed, go ahead and open it back up again. And then shortly after that, you should start to see signal bars up here at the top. Now there are a couple of other tricks that you can take advantage of and some things that you might need to note if you run into any errors. So again, just be sure to check out the post that's down below in the more info. If this video and the post helped you out, just be sure to rate it up and leave any comments down below in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.